Alright, here's a clip on uh, the Mac 11 Airsoft gun. I have extended mag on this uh, this gun right here. Holds about, I uh, estimate about 20, 30 shots in here. It is semi-automatic though. It's the only problem, like I don't know why somebody would make a clip like this. I'll make it semi-automatic. This doesn't make sense to me. Has about 150 FPS, which is absolute garbage. This gun is about, got it for about $20. Very poor gun. I don't recommend it to anyone. Unless, um, you're really tight on cash and you want to, it looks good. Doesn't perform well. You got uh, your stock, which comes out to here, comes down to here. I don't know how you'd ever use that. You'd look pretty funny if you tried to do that. Um, not much else about the gun. It's a pretty bad gun. I don't recommend anyone to get it, but, uh, here's a little bit of video of me shooting it. And as I said, this gun is very poor. Don't recommend it to anyone. But if you got $20 in your pocket and you're trying to get a gun that you can shoot inside your house, well, why not? I mean, see this target right here? I'm going to shoot at it from about, uh, Probably about seven feet away. I bet I cannot hit it. Actually, believe I actually think I did. Any penetration? See, 150 FPS. It is not even enough to penetrate a note card from seven feet away. Like, I, like if you tried to use this in an airsoft or anything, I, I don't even think people even feel it. It's completely pointless. It's a nice showpiece, though. Looks alright. Like you pull this out, some somebody's gonna be afraid of you. Somebody's gonna be like, "Wow, that's a cool gun." What they don't know is, it's a piece of. It's absolutely. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Well, uh, thanks. Thanks for watching.